Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will be creating a simple neural network to do some simple pattern recognition. There is no setup required for this video, so we can get straight into the code. There will be a link in my description. That link will take you to my GitHub where you can download the full code if you want that. So first, let's start with importing our libraries. So from TensorFlow, import chaos. We'll import NumPy from MP as np i mean sorry we'll import numpy as np and lastly we'll import math as well so shift enter and now we can create our model so model equals keras dot sequential well, let me make sure i spelled that right sequential yes okay and then keras dot layers dot dense units equal to one and input shape underscore shape equals one in brackets. So let me explain, or let's run it first with shift enter. Make sure everything is fine. Okay, perfect. So here we have only one layer and that's the reason why this is actually the simplest neural network model that you can make. We only have one layer and we only have one unit, which is just one neuron. And then our input shape is one because it's only one value. So now we have to compile our model and also add our optimizer and our loss function. Uh, our loss function is what measures our model's accuracy and we want to minimize this function. The optimizer updates the model based off of the data that it gets from the loss function. So these two functions is what lets our neural network get better every time it runs. So we'll say model, sorry, model.compile optimizer equals sgd and loss equals mean underscore squared underscore error so here we're using the stochastic gradient descent optimizer which is extremely popular and our mean squared error loss function shift enter so because we are not using a data set we're gonna have to write in the data ourselves, and i'm gonna copy in these two lines and i'll have it in the description so that you guys don't have to write it out by hand because it's really annoying so we have our numpy array for x and our numpy array for y and we've specified that the data type is integer and integer so let's run this so this is now where the pattern recognition comes in we have an equation now that maps the x to the y so what i want you guys to do now is to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can find out that pattern. Okay, so if you guys went ahead and paused the video, uh, you probably saw fairly quickly, if you've done your basic uh, algebra in middle school, that the x and y are both constantly increasing. The x is constantly increasing by one, and the y is constantly increasing by two. So the e equation that maps the x to the y is y equals so let me write that down here i'll switch this to a markdown i'll say y equals 2x minus 1 and so we can see that here so the y is equal to 2x so let's take the point 0 so 2 times 0 is 0 minus 1 we get minus 1 we can do that for 17 i'm not going to do it for 17 actually i'll do it for 10 so 10 times 2 20 minus 1 we have 19 so that is the equation that our neural network model has to figure out if it will be able to act. So that's the equation that our neural network model has to figure out. If it cannot figure out this equation and it gets something else, like y equals 3x minus 1, then if we asked it, then if we ask it to give us the y value for if x is 18, then we're gonna get an answer that's completely wrong. So now we have to go ahead and train our model on this data. So we're gonna say model dot fit and we have to pass in our data x and y and then we'll set our epochs equals 500 and what one epoch is is one epoch is basically one full cycle of the neural network so from the original input all the way to the back propagation where it uses the loss and optimizer so shift enter and it'll go through this and I think mine has finished. Let me scroll down a little bit more. And yes, mine has finished. So now our model has been fully trained. 
but we're still gonna do uh, a l but we're still gonna do a few more things we the point of doing this was so that we can make predictions with our model so we're gonna use a predict function so we're gonna create our variable prediction equals model dot predict and we're gonna pass in our x value so that it predicts the y value because whenever you're doing machine learning the y is always the target variable or the value that you're trying to predict so we pass in our x value so that it predicts the y value and then we'll print original prediction and you'll see why I'm calling it this in a second and we'll pass in our variable so shift enter and we see we have our prediction of 34.97 so if our x was 18 the y should have been 35 but our model predicted something extremely close to that 34.97 so this could be because of a few reasons the first reason would be that we do not have a lot of data we only have uh, 18 points which isn't a lot compared to our average data set containing hundreds so that's one reason and the second reason is we've only trained it for 500 epochs and 500 epochs combined with the fact that our data is only 18 points isn't a lot but the thing is i feel like personally i feel like that 34.97 is such a close amount that we could just round it up to 35 so what i want to do and what the reason i imported the math here and we haven't used it yet is because the math module has a function dot seal and what that does is it takes whatever number you've take you've passed in and it just rounds that up so we can say rounded underscore prediction equals math dot seal and here we'll pass in our prediction and then we will say print rounded prediction and we'll pass in rounded prediction shift enter and we have our rounded prediction of 35 so we can go ahead and pass in 20 shift enter we get 38.96 so I'm gonna assume that the correct number would be 39 and so if we run the second one we get our correct number of 39 so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something in this video in this video we created the simplest neural network model that you can make and we used it to do some simple pattern recognition so if you enjoyed and learned something in this video please consider liking and subscribing if you have some more video ideas please comment them down below thank you for watching